Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and this is going to be the 16 challenge in 30 days of React JavaScript. So here you can see we have the problem statement, which is develop a React component that demonstrates the infinite scroll feature. So those who don't know about the infinite scroll feature, you can navigate to YouTube, and currently YouTube is one of the application which uses infinite scroll. So whenever you scroll down, and when you reach at the bottom, you will see a loading bar, and then the new data will get refreshed. So this is something which always happens when you scroll down to the web page. So most of the application uses infinite scroll feature. It is most like a load more button. When you click on the load more button, then the more data will get fetched. So that is something you can use. So if you are new to my channel, make sure that you like and subscribe my channel so that you don't miss the awesome videos. So let's get started. First of all, we will create a react arrow functional component and export. Then we will create two state. One is for managing the state and then one is for the fetching the API call. So the use effect. Now we will create one state which is data. Final state will be set data and initially it will be an empty array. Now we will make one use effect. Inside use effect we will create one function or you can say we will call one function which is fetch data. So we will define this fetch data function which is basically a asynchronous function inside it we will write try and catch so inside try and catch we will write const response is equals to await fetch the url and you can navigate to json.placeholder typecode.com and when you will scroll down you will see the post endpoint and when you click on the post one the api will get hit and you will get hundreds of posts with the title and the body so i will copy this endpoint pass it here i will write const incoming data is equals to await response.json now i will update the final state to set data to incoming data okay and I will create one another state for the loading state. So when the API is in pending state, we will show the loading status. So these things enhance the user experience of the component as well as the web application also. So I will update the set loading to true. And after that, when the API response will get completed, set loading will become false. Same. In the error also set loading will become false then we will show our error if the api response will fail then error dot message now we will modify our html we will write section dot landing inside we will write div dot row dot container make one h1 and inside h1 i will write infinite scroll I will give a class name to landing heading then I will write data and and data dot map so we have to map our data so I will extract item now I will write a div I will pass a key item dot id I will write h3 dot heading and inside h3 we will show our title with item dot title okay and now so here we will show our loading text so we will write loading if true then show this paragraph inside this paragraph I will write one text loading I will give a class name of loading so by doing this uh, you will see when I will navigate to my server which is localhost slash infinite scroll you will see total hundreds of data here okay so we have to implement our infinite scroll feature so for that we will create one function which is handle scroll and we will pass this function into use effect with window dot add event listener of javascript 
सो आई विल राइट कॉन्स्ट स्क्रॉल टॉप क्लाइंट हाइट एंड स्क्रॉल हाइट दीज थ्री आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द इन्फोनाइट स्क्रॉल फीचर डॉक्यूमेंट डॉट डॉक्यूमेंट एलिमेंट वी विल क्रिएट वन इफ ए स्टेटमेंट इन साइड इफ वी विल राइट स्क्रॉल टॉप प्लस क्लाइंट हाइट इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल्स टू स्क्रॉल हाइट माइनस टेन एंड एंड इज नॉट इक्वल्स टू लोडिंग देन ओनली वॉट इट विल डज फर्स्ट इट विल सेट दिस लोडिंग टू ट्रू then it will refresh the whole data so with the help of uh, basically we have to make one state for that so we will write u state we will make one state which is set page and inside it we will write one now here we will update the state set page from previous to previous plus 1 it will increment the page from plus 1 and i will move this use effect after this handle scroll i will create one another use effect where i will pass this handle scroll so i will write window dot add event listener event name scroll and the function name handle scroll so we have to remove this function also so window dot remove event listener scroll handle scroll so this will avoid the memory leak in react and now i have to modify this url page equals to dollar page so in the dependency array we will pass the page and we will update the set data to set data previous previous with the help of spread operator i will get all the previous data and all the incoming data so now after saving this file so you will see initially there is page is equals to one data and now when i will reach at the bottom of the page the page will become two and same a new data will get fetched same again page will become three new data will get refreshed so this is something you can use you can use this part of code in any other react application where you want infinite scroll feature and you can replace this url endpoint with any other url endpoint which you want to play with it so that is something if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section until then thank you for watching